tutorial. So here's a couple of tips for you uh, when you're shooting. The very first shot, you don't need to stand with the puck so far back away from you. Think about it this way. When you wanna jump, if you wanna jump up really high, how, how low would you go? Maybe go up here and then you jump as high as you can. You wouldn't go all the way back down. There comes a point where if you go too deep, you can't get as much power when jumping up. Same thing here. So if I move the puck a little bit back, I'm gonna have more power, but I move it all the way back, it's not gonna give me more power. It might actually make it, make it harder. Second thing is, in a game, you probably won't have time to bring the puck all the way back. So good thing for you, you got your back foot, maybe a tiny bit behind your back foot. Second thing, you have your hand right in front of your stomach, that's gonna be a little hard for you to shoot. I like to have, pull the top elbow up, have the hand out here so there's room here because think about it, we're pushing down with our bottom hand and pulling with our top hand at the same time. And that's how we're gonna generate power. If my hand's stuck here, and I can't really pull with it. So those are the two biggest points. One way you can really easily move your top hand out is if you just pull the puck in. Look, I got the puck way out here. Now I bring the puck in, look where my top hand goes. Top hand goes out and I got room. So instead of shooting like this, try to shoot a little bit more like this. Okay, and the last point, watch my wrists when they're ending the shot. Don't know if that was all on camera. So that's how my stick is pointing at the end of the shot. You don't really need to roll your wrist all the way over. That little last bit of wrist motion is not going to help you too much. So think about those three points. So on the jump shot, for this one that you were doing, it's important don't worry so much right now if your puck is gonna go high or not. That's gonna come with practice. So I thought you were shoveling a little bit. Like that. Okay, now the puck goes high but there's no power. On the jump shot, really push off this leg, land on that leg, really be over the puck. Don't fall this way, fall over the puck. See, when I'm over it, my stick's bending right away. Okay, and follow through straight like I said don't worry too much about if you're going up or not so this is the jump shot I'm also trying to pull the puck in a little bit Do one more for you and if you do two contacts or one contact, so one contact is just pulling two contacts would be a little bit of a, that's really up to you. Your wrist shot while skating on the ice looks really good. And your slap shot looked pretty good too. It was a good weight transfer. One thing I think might help you is using a little bit less flex. So you told me you weighed 32 kilos and you have a chop down 30 flex, which is probably about a 40 flex now. I wasn't seeing your stick bending at all when you were shooting. Now I think with your shooting technique is good enough that you should be getting a little bit of bend out of your stick. So I always tell my players don't go with a stick flex that's any higher than your weight in kilos. So you being 32 kilos, I think a 30 flex stick should be the maximum you should be going. And always consider when you chop down the stick, sometimes there's little lines at the end of the stick and it actually tells you when you cut it, okay, this will be how much flex it's here, how much flex there, how much flex there, how much flex there. Some sticks have lines, some sticks don't, okay? So, but just remember when you cut the stick, it's gonna make the flex go up. And if you can't feel your stick bending when you're shooting, it's probably too stiff. I weigh 92 kilos, I have a 70 flex stip, stick. I know that's pretty whippy, but if I were using, say, a 100 flex stick, 
There's no way I could shoot. I could definitely shoot with a 75, maybe an 80 flex, but anything higher than that would just be too hard for me. I really want my stick bending when I'm shooting. Hope those tips helped you out. You're doing a great job. Keep on working hard and have fun practicing. I will keep doing my best. See ya! <laughs>